All right, I wanted to show you a quick video of this um, leaf, ho these <laughs> leaf hollow that I made. I have this 8x8 skimmerbill trailer, and I have a ton of leaves and brush and stuff in my yard, and I wanted to make some sides for it. So what I did is I got four pieces of, um, I used plywood, or I wanted to use something kind of light, and uh, I used this, it's not, it's kind of like pressed wood, but it's that OC, whatever, this board that you can find pretty inexpensive at like Lowe's or Home Depot. So I used that for my sides, and what I'll do is, that's going to kind of be out of the weather, I'm going to store it inside so it doesn't really get ruined when I'm not using it. Uh, but I had to trim a little bit off the edge right here. Make sure you take your measurements and uh, trim it with the, a circular, circular saw so that it fits in the spot that you want. And then the two sides uh, just fit right on. They hang over like a little tiny bit, but that's not a big deal. So what I did inside is I made um, two pieces, two by fours, so that I can slide these panels in. Uh, my plan was that when I'm leaf blowing, I can tilt the trail because it tilts, blow the leaves right in. Uh, once I get a good amount of leaves in there, I can slide one board into place. And what I did is I ripped this 4 by 8 piece in half. The other piece is at the back of the trailer right there. So I can put one panel in, and then once I tip the trailer back, I can start throwing more leaves and stuff in it until it gets too high. And then I can put the other piece in. So the back wall is as high as the side and the front walls. Um, to do the front, I just used some pieces of 2x4 and I screwed it all together. Um, if you have like a, a cordless drill, um, I used screws so I can quickly, when I'm done using it, just take the three screws out and the sides will come off. And these will remain on the, on the front panel. You don't need to take those off every time. So there's one in that corner and one in this corner. And what I also did is uh, I found a couple of hinges kicking around my garage. So I put a hinge on each side so that when I have the back panels in place, I can use a ratchet strap and put a hook around here and the hook around the other side and kind of suck the back together and it'll, it'll hold everything in place really strong. Um, another thing that I did was I wanted to make sure the sides stayed sucked to the side of the trailer. So I put a couple pieces on 2x4. I put one on this side and one on the other side. And then let it kind of overhang the lip a little bit so it'll hold the side secure. Uh, they do sell like a loop that kind of goes in here. And I'll probably end up getting some of those in a little bit. Um, but for right now, they're on there pretty good. And at some point in time, I'll probably get a couple loops. The galvanized this is a pain to drill through. So I'll have to drill through that and put the loops on. Alright, so now that I have the trailer about halfway full, I have a ton of leaves in my yard, and that spot we just cleaned up was the worst part of the yard. I can put the first board in, and now I can kind of start throwing all the rest of the leaves in, and they'll stay in place. You can probably even tip the trailer back up too, and they won't spill out because of the board. Hey, look what I found. That's definitely going to the dump. Alright, so once you're about 80% full, you can pull in, put in the uh, top piece of wood, and you can continue filling your trailer. Alright, so once I put the uh, top board on, I put a bungee cord, actually a ratchet strap around the back, and I'm ready to go to the dump. Hope you liked the video, and subscribe to that channel, give us a thumbs up if you like it.